Good evening. I am Valerie Hardy, Literacy Program Administrator at Reed San Diego and your host. This is a different way of recognizing our stars, but we didn't want the year go by to go by without acknowledging those who didn't give up, those who pushed to find new ways to connect, teach, and learn. Tonight, we are here to celebrate Reed San Diego's annual evening with the stars. Now, I invite you to sit back, relax, and check out this short video which captures program highlights and our work together over the past year.
talk about what we've done, but we wanted to give you a small glimpse of how we shifted to one-on-one -on -one small group and online learning while also delivering family literacy service at home. Tonight, I especially welcome our students who are here and whom we are honoring for their courage, commitment, and determination to improving their reading and writing skills. All of us, read staff, tutors, friends, and families celebrate their accomplishments. We are here because we are all so very proud of you. I'd also like to thank the men and women here tonight who volunteer for Read San Diego. You truly have been and will always be the heart of the program. We would not be able to do this work without you. We also do this work with support across the city and the state. I would like to thank San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria for his ongoing support, the San Diego City Council, the Library Board of Library Commissioners, San Diego Public Library Administration, the Library Foundation, and San Diego Council on Literacy, and the California State Library, and our many, many community supporters. At this time, I'd like to introduce the visionary leader and director of the San Diego Public Library. Misty Jones has worked to help our communities see the library as the place for opportunity, discovery, and inspiration. She gets what we do. She is a beacon who has steered our system through enormous challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Director Misty Jones. Thank you, Val. Um, I've said this at every previous event, I believe, but it stands true that this celebration is really one of my favorite um, events that I get to attend. I wish we could all be there in person together, but I'm so happy that the Reed staff decided to do this virtually because it's such an important recognition of all of your accomplishments. Um, I think why it's my favorite is because the achievement that we celebrate that you all have accomplished is so incredible. And this year, it is even more incredible. Um, this has been a year like no other. You, but you all found a way during a pandemic when many of you are worrying about loved ones and yourselves, um, when you're managing a quarantine, many of you are being at home teachers for your children, uh, learning new technology so that you can connect with your tutors on Zoom. Um, all of this uh, you accomplished. And for many, it would have been too overwhelming understandably too overwhelming, but you didn't let it stop you. You kept at it, you persevered, and you achieved something that no one will ever take away from you. I am always in awe of those who take the step to be a read learner, but this year being in awe doesn't cover it. Congratulations to all of you and to the volunteers and the tutors you are the backbone and the reason um, that this is a successful program. There are no words that can sufficiently thank you for what you do. And last but not least, the staff at Reed San Diego. I am the luckiest person to have such a passionate, <laughs> caring group of people working at San Diego Public Library. Thank you for all, thank you all for the 150% that you do every single day. Um, congratulations again, and thank you so much for sticking it out with us. I would like to acknowledge our partners in supporting adult literacy, the Friends of Reed San Diego Adult Literacy Program, co-sponsors of this event. They include Jackie Abrams, President, Sharon Barton, Cindy Brown, Jim Wadman, Lenore Ivinson. Thank you, friends. I am also extremely proud of my staff for their hard work in planning this event, and I'd like you to meet them. I can honestly say that this group of men and women represent the best, brightest, and some of the most hardworking. First, we have Literacy Tutor Learner Coordinators, Tim Donlin and Laura Doolin. This is the team, the great team that are in charge of assessing students, training new tutors, 
teaching small groups, helping tutor learner teams get started with materials and helping with technology and tracking progress along the way. Thank you, Tim and Laura. Next we have our amazing interim family literacy coordinator, Stephanie Contreras, who does an outstanding job of single-handedly recruiting families, developing curriculum, ordering materials and delivering programs in person and now virtually to families each month in the family literacy program. Thank you, Steph. Next, we have our front office team consisting of Cassandra Espel, the office manager, Jacob Kalina, library assistant one, and Jane McMillan, library assistant one. This is the team that does an outstanding job managing the business functions of the program and the day-to-day -day operations, including registering tutors and students for training, greeting customers, sending materials, and a host of other business functions that support our program. Lastly, we have Car Carla Sotelo, career online, career online High School Program Coordinator and Librarian too. Carla manages the Career Online High School Diploma, Diploma Program for the city. And when she's not tracking high school diploma candidates, she assists patrons with questions at every reference desk on all floors of the Central Library. Thank you, Carla. All of our students present tonight have reached personal and academic goals. Some of our students have made remarkable progress against tremendous odds, and some have remained in the program to better themselves. And some have, achieved, have attained their US citizenship. If we were meeting in person, this would be the moment that I would invite you each to hold up your certificate high. Instead, on Monday, we will mail certificates of achievement to all students and read thank you gifts to all participants, students, tutors, and volunteers alike. Last year, one student met the requirements, studied, and passed the test to become a US citizen. Please join me in congratulating Daniel Meza Anglin. Daniel wanted everyone to know that his tutor, Joanne Olson, is awesome. She is a great teacher. She is, and he is so happy and thankful for this opportunity and for Reed San Diego. When signing up to become a tutor with Reed, volunteers agree to tutor for a minimum of six months to a year. We have some individuals who have well exceeded our required six month commitment. Starting this year, I am delighted to announce that the Veteran Tutor Award will now be called the Jane Rappaport 10 Year Veteran Tutor Award in honor of Jane Rappaport who served as a volunteer tutor for 15 years, tutoring one-on-one -on -one and teaching small groups at a learning center in Linda Vista. Jane helped hundreds of students build basic reading and writing skills, and even made time to hone her own skills while attending workshops at Reed's annual tutor conference. Jane's example and legacy will continue with the naming of this award and with a generous annual donation that will continue in perpetuity to support the mission of Reed. Thank you, Jane, Alan, and family. I am humbled by your generosity and your support. This year, we have three tutors who've given 10 years of volunteer service, and I'd like you to meet them. The recipients of the Jane Rappaport 10-Year Veteran Tutor Awards are Catherine Alberts, 
Joanne Olson, and Alex Roel. Thank you, Catherine, Joanne, and Alex for years of service and making a difference. At this time, we will shift to the presenting of the 2021 Reed San Diego Awards. All award winners will receive a plaque. The Learner Award winners will receive a plaque, Kindle Fire tablet, and a $50 Amazon gift card, all contributed by the Friends of Reed San Diego. The Antoinette Mosley Adult Learner of the Year Awards are given to students who have accomplished their goals, often under difficult circum circumstances and often against a tremendous odds. This year, we are celebrating three recipients. Literacy Tutor Learner Coordinator Tim Donlin will tell you about this year's award winners. The first award goes to Amina Abraham. Amina Abraham has made great strides as a learner at Reed. She is working hard with her tutor, Rebecca Emilio, and has logged over 100 hours on learning upgrade. Amina is proud and happy to have a tutor that helps her increase her reading and speaking fluency. She says that her tutor is a good teacher and explains, to, explains things to her very clearly. She also says that her tutor has changed her life in an uncountable number of ways. Her fluency has increased and she is more comfortable reading and now she could read books. When asked about her learning journey with Reed, Amina had the following words to say. I'm proud because I could read books now. I'm comfortable to read anything. I'm pushing myself and I try to do extra. Whenever I meet the moms at school, I give them the number for Reed and tell them that it's flexible. I keep trying to improve my reading more and more so that I can help my community in the future. I'm so happy and proud of myself for taking the action to come to read. The next award winner is MD Dalar Hossein. MD is grateful to have worked with his tutor, Caitlin Considine. Together, they mostly worked on his comprehension. He said he used to have to read something two or three times to understand, now he can understand the first time. Caitlin also helped MD with his job search. MD has demonstrated that he is very self-motivated. When the pandemic started, his tutor unfortunately had to move out of state for work-related reasons. MD continued his learning by using the Learning Upgrade app. In 2020, he logged 169 hours and 36 minutes, passing many different courses on the app. In August, MD started a new job with San Diego County's Health and Human Services. He gets a lot of email at work and he, that he says he needs to understand. He said, last year, I improved my reading skills and it is very helpful for me right now. Now I don't need to change my job. There is a lot of opportunity to move up. If I continue, then I don't need to go to another company. The next award goes to Luis Lopez. Luis Lopez has made a lot of progress with the Reed program. He and his tutor, Diane Silva, have worked hard at improving his literacy. And with the pandemic, they have adapted to meeting remotely, even though it has been challenging. Lewis says, Diane is very patient and understanding. In his words, she's always there. She never called off on me. I do appreciate it with someone. We've built a nice rapport with each other over the years and understanding with one another. She's very supportive of me. When asked about future goals and how improved literacy skills would help to achieve them, Lewis said, I would like to write in greeting cards. People at work ask you to sign a card because someone is sick. They ask you to say some kind words. I don't know how to do that, so I just sign it. I would like to write a few things in a card. And I'd like to read to my future grandkids. I'd like to feel like I'm helping them with their education. Meeting with his tutor has changed Lewis's life. 
It's given me time to try to help myself, he said. That was something that I really didn't like to do. It's like cleaning or making your bed. Reading was like a chore, and I never particularly cared for it. This has really helped me put some time aside for myself to benefit myself. Now, Lewis, is, Lewis notices signage on the roads and billboards. He picks up newspapers, which he never used to do. At work, he writes helpful messages on the chalkboard for his coworkers before he had always called them in. Recently, Lewis said, I opened up the computer and looked things up on Google. That was neat. I never did that before. I wouldn't have done that without the read program. First, congratulations, Amina, MD, and Lewis. So proud of you. The Rebecca E. Lytle Tutor of the Year Awards are given to tutors who exemplify persistence, creativity, and commitment to teaching. This year, we are honoring three recipients. Literacy Tutor Learner Coordinator, Laura Doolin, who will tell you about this year's Tutor Award recipients. The first Tutor Award winner is Rebecca Emilio. Rebecca has displayed great determination as a read tutor. She has given her all to help her students in whatever way she can. Reed put out an email a few months after COVID started to see if any tutors who are waiting for a student would like to try tutoring online. And Rebecca jumped in to give it a try. After being mashed online, she and her student Amina Abraham hit the ground running. When asked what has impressed her the most about her learners' efforts since they started working together, Rebecca told me the following. Amina is a pro at maximizing time. She approaches our lessons like there's no time to waste. She's never missed a lesson. She makes tutoring fun, easy, and so rewarding. I can't wait until our next lesson. For Rebecca, the most rewarding part of tutoring so far has been getting to know Amina. She said that since the moment they started, Amina approached new material with curiosity and confidence, and this approach guaranteed success. She said their lessons continue to be a source of hope, positivity, and fun. Rebecca gave the following example when asked what tutoring accomplishment she felt especially proud of. Amina's reading fluency has improved tremendously. Meeting regularly, consistent practice, and reading out loud have been the key ingredients for her. I'm so proud and honored to be part of her progress. Rebecca said that one of the challenges she experienced as a tutor was overcoming her lack of confidence from having had no prior tutoring experience. As with learning any new skills, she said, the key is always consistent practice. By continuing to show up and give my best effort, I'm feeling more confident and my skills continue to improve. Rebecca gave the following insight to potential read tutors. A passion for reading and the desire to start that passion are all that's needed. As I mentioned, I have no prior tutoring experience, but the read program and text are designed specifically for people like me. The incredible read staff provides you with excellent training and are with you every step of the way. The next tutor award is Susan Rock. Susan Rapp has spent her time as a read tutor, focusing primarily on helping her student to increase her reading and writing skills so that her student can become more and more proficient in her job. When COVID hit, Susan did a great job of adjusting to a new way of working with her student by having the student text her about writing issues and then working with the writing back and forth via text and over the phone. Susan says her student has become a better reader, writer, and speller, gained knowledge on a variety of topics, and developed a new interest in history. She has been impressed with her student's consistent dedication to improving her reading and writing. When asked what the most rewarding part of tutoring has been so far, Susan responded, helping my learner improve her reading, spelling, grammar, and writing skills, and seeing her confidence grow as a result. Also seeing my learner's knowledge base grow as she has successfully completed reading many stories and articles related to history, culture, 
and various locations inside and out of the United States. The accomplishments that Susan feels most proud of as a tutor are forming and maintaining the tutor-student relationship and that her student knows that Susan cares about helping her improve her reading and writing skills. One of the challenges that Susan has encountered in tutoring is trying to help her student through these learning challenges. Susan has pointed out the challenges as they come up and developed a few strategies to use. When asked what she would say to potential tutors for Rio San Diego, Susan said, definitely become a Rio San Diego tutor. It is very rewarding and you are providing a meaningful service to your learner and contributing in a positive way to your community. The final award winner is Diane Silva. Diane Silva and her learner, Luis Lopez, have been working together for almost a year and a half. They have built an ongoing and pleasant tutor-learner relationship. Luis is very reliable, she says, and committed to attending our sessions. He has a positive attitude and is always ready to put forth his best effort, even if he's had a tiring day at work. Diane explained that the most rewarding part of tutoring so far has been to hear Lewis enthusiastically say, I've never done this before. In Diane's words, I have seen Lewis become more interested in the knowledge that he gains from reading. At first, our sessions were structured almost exclusively around the words and Voyager text. Then we ventured out and read a book together <clears throat> that Lewis had remembered from his past. Now we enjoy reading a newspaper article each time we meet and are both learning some interesting information. During the pandemic, Diana and Lewis had to adapt. She's proud that they developed a system to continue their sessions by telephone. It was a learning process that required patience and perseverance. Diane is also proud of her expanding knowledge of phonics. She said, I was previously not consciously aware, for example, that the letter Y has four different sounds. Diane's main challenge as a tutor has been to slow down and listen to Lewis. At first, she said, I assumed that he did or didn't understand what I was saying, and I wasn't always correct. I've learned to no longer make assumptions and to ask more questions and carefully listen to Lewis's answers. For any potential future tutors, Diane gave the following encouragement. Sign up. Perhaps you may be hesitant because you've never done any formal teaching in the past, don't worry, you'll receive excellent training and support from the Reed staff. This is an amazing program that you will enjoy. Congratulations, too. Congratulations, Rebecca, Susan, and Diane. Great work. At this time, I'd like to shift to the Maria Gonzalez Family Literacy Award, which is presented to a parent or caregiver who has demonstrated outstanding commitment and leadership in promoting family literacy in their home, advocating for Reed San Diego, and encouraging others to engage in lifelong learning. Interim Family Literacy Coordinator Stephanie Contreras will tell you about this year's Family Literacy Family Literacy Award recipient. And the winner of the Maria Gonzalez Families for Literacy Award is Yin Yin Chow and Family. In 2018, Yin Yin Chow, a mother of two, brought her youngest child, two-year-old Caitlin, to the library and joined the Families for Literacy program. Within one year, Yin Yin made a zealous decision to work with a tutor on her own literacy goals. Today, Yinyin continues to brilliantly achieve every new goal she sets for herself. For instance, during school and library closures, Yinyin takes time to support her children with distance learning, participate in virtual FFL programs, and she manages to meet weekly with her tutor on FaceTime. Yinyin's tutor, Janet Clancy says, Yinyin's a lovely individual, kind, conscientious, reliable, and she takes her role as a parent very seriously. One of her key goals is to be the best parent she can. She comes up with creative ways to engage her children. She does her research and takes advantage of what the community has to offer to bring in new experiences for her children. She does this all for the sake of becoming a better person and a better mom. When Yin Yin is asked about her experience, accomplishments, and what she is especially proud of, 
Yinyin had this to say. In the beginning, my daughter didn't interact with anyone, but when I bring her to FFL, my daughter will observe what others are doing and she now feels more co comfortable and engages in circle time. For me, I feel more confident. FFL always provides so much material. I learn things like when kids use scissors and make crafts, that it helps build fine motor skills. We continue practicing with the virtual program and we try to practice the alphabet every day. Even if we're not available, I can always watch the videos later. It's so convenient. I replay the video and the kids ask me to watch the video again. I am so happy when I receive the books and craft packages. It feels like we are receiving presents. I read every day, at least 20 times with my children. We read the books we received along with the videos. Now I have better support to help my older child, Abigail, at school. Right now, my kids are doing virtual learning and I am so glad for this program because I practice and read a lot. Virtual learning is hard and it's new. You need to download this and be able to read that. And I am glad I was able to adjust quickly because now I can read. For those interested in joining Families for Literacy, Yinyin says, this program has a very welcoming environment and it's a program for all parents. Even if you aren't a native speaker, don't be afraid. All the people here are very nice. They respect you and they will make you feel like you're not alone. During these parenting classes, if you have questions, you can ask for help. It's a very welcoming environment and they will help you. Yinin's goals for the future, she says, I feel like my career is my kids. They are still young. After middle school, I will want to find a job. Only after they are older. Right now, I just want to stay home with my kids and help them with their homework. But now I am a parent volunteer. I am more confident to volunteer virtually in my older daughter's class. This is something I never thought I would try to do. I wasn't too confident before, but I am now. Congratulations, Yinyin. Last week, at a meeting of library literacy coordinators across the state, I was treated to a poem which captures the essence of our mission at Reed San Diego and the mission of library literacy programs across the state. I am now inviting Kim Noriega, published poet and former family literacy coordinator for Reed San Diego to deliver her poem, Essential. Thank you, Val. And it's a congratulations to everyone. It's such a pleasure to be here tonight. I just wanted to give a little background of this poem. When Val asked me to read my poem for this presentation, she asked me if it took a long time to write. And initially I answered, no, I wrote it in a few hours. Um, but afterward, I realized when I thought about it, that actually it took me 13 years to write as Reed San Diego's family literacy coordinator and tutor trainer. So here is the, um, the poem in the making for 13 years, Essential. What is essential? Families, babies to teens and everyone in between, mamas and papas, grandmas and grandpas, aunties and uncles, caretakers too. Families, learning together, reading together, in the library, at home, on Zoom, every kind of family, in every kind of room. What is essential? Equity, diversity, inclusivity. Welcome to the library. Welcome home to your dreams, a driver, a teacher, a community of leaders, a mother who wants to help her son with his homework, readers. Essential? The library clerk who checks out our books, the grants analyst, the library director, the IT tech who set up this Zoom, and beyond this room, the food bank volunteer, the physician champion who reaches out to give you a book, the school lunch cook, the neighborhood house, the family clinic, community. 
what is essential? Your dreams, your aspirations. The sky is the limit, a community of learners, each a resource for everyone. Families learning together and individually with our tutors, we become mighty. What is essential? Books to keep of every kind, fiction, nonfiction, history, poetry, big books, little books, talking books, ebooks. But look, there's even more tablets to take home, scissors, crayons, finger paints, puzzles, science kits, and oh, yum, cookbooks too. What is essential? Help when you need it. What is essential? Mirror, mirror, you are our mirrors. How are we doing? What have you learned? What are your new dreams? What is essential? You. Thank you, Kim, for that awesome poem. You nailed it in identifying who is essential. We could not do this work, reach the people that we do, without each one of you. At this time, I'd like to invite Jackie Abrams, president of the Friends of Reed San Diego, to present this year's Friendship Award. Good evening, everyone. And as I always say, salam alaikum to my Muslim brothers and sisters. It's always nice to see you in the audience. This is probably my most favorite event of the year that we work in conjunction with, with Reed and with Val. Um, this is our 33rd year, so we are into more than a generation of doing the good work that we do. And many of us do what we do because of Val. She's an awesome leader. Um, this has been a really difficult year for everyone. We need to make sure that we look forward to the rest of this year um, with a sense of optimism, following the rules, and hoping that next year this time we will be able to meet as we always have in all previous years in one room so we can actually make eye contact and network and see everybody walk up to the stage. I want to make special notion, uh, mention of the fact that this year we have, again, as in previous years, a new citizen with us. I want to congratulate him. And if there's any others that have become naturalized during the last year, to congratulate them also. And please uh, remember that when you are naturalized, for those of you who have never seen a ceremony, that when you walk outside of Golden Hall, we have registration booths for what? to vote. Um, one of the responsibilities of being a citizen is to make sure that you register to vote and you cast your vote, vote your conscience, vote what's in your heart. I never go one way or the other, but it is important that you understand the issues, the people that are running and make an informed decision. I, I personally believe that that's the most important part of citizenship. Um, I know that when we do this in person, I always get a big hand when I come up to the stage. I don't know if that's because you're anxious to hear what I have to say or because after I speak, we have the raffle and then it's all over and you get to go home. Um, I will choose to believe I will choose to believe that it is the former. And so I would like to get on to the Friendship Award for this year. The recipient of this year's Friendship Award goes to someone who has developed curriculum ordered books, prepared activities, coordinated mailings, tracked budget expenses, produced videos uploaded to Reed's YouTube channel, and delivered virtual family literacy programs to 100 families this month. One person did all of that, my goodness. <laughs> she worked collaboratively with staff in planning tonight's recognition event and is responsible for creating all of the videos you've seen this evening. She is creative. She has an infectious can-do spirit and has tremendous passion for working with participants in the Family Literacy Program. She has carried on the tradition of delivering quality program that is relevant, age-appropriate, and evidence-based. 
This year's Friendship Award is proudly given to Reed San Diego's Family Literacy Coordinator, Stephanie Contreras. Well, thank you, Jackie. Thank you, friends of Reed San Diego. I am so honored to receive this award. Thank you so much. As we close the evening, I would like to invite Reed staff to turn on your cameras as we say goodbye. Congratulations to all of the learners and award winners. We thank you for coming and celebrating this evening with all of our stars. Good night.